abundance and scarcity really exist in the outer world? Just like your sofa? The psychological approach would argue that the belief in scarcity and abundance, or even just scarcity and abundance, are not existing like your sofa does. They are only creations of the psyche. And you can choose the perspective that you like the most. You can choose a perspective of abundance or you can choose a perspective of scarcity. If you want to experience more abundance, you need to focus on what you do have and on what gifts every situation brings. And you will find that when you practice that, your thinking becomes more creative because you really need to look for, what do I have? It's a question that sparks creativity. And also to find the good in every situation. And that needs some open-mindedness as well. So you will find that when you practice abundance thinking, you'll become more open-minded as well. Um, it's learning to dance in the rain, if you get what I mean. And that needs some... Um, <laughs> Sometimes when you don't get what you thought you needed, abundance means learning that you actually don't need what you thought you needed, which is the powerful gift of independence. Some people believe that in order to believe in the existence of abundance, they need to first see the fulfillment of all their desires. They want this and this and this and this, and they want that instantly, and only then they will believe in abundance. But you don't need the instant fulfillment of all your desires to believe in abundance. Because, here's why, every situation brings gifts. And those gifts might be other things than you thought you wanted. So whether something fulfills your desire or not, it has some gift for you. And it's up to you to practice your creativity and open-mindedness to start seeing those gifts, to start appreciating those gifts. And maybe at the same time, you have a lot of unfulfilled desires. Many people don't like having a lot of unfulfilled desires. But you can also see that as a beautiful gift. Because when you have an abundance of unfulfilled desires, it will make your heart feel alive. And it will give direction to your choices in life. And it will give you passion to pursue what you want. So it's such a powerful thing to have in your life, unfulfilled desires. So no, you don't need to see the instant fulfillment of all your desires to be able to choose a perspective of abundance. To feel into what it means to choose to see abundance, let's take a look at two examples of situations in which most people would perceive lack and scarcity but in which you can also choose to see abundance. So just taking a look at those examples will help you to feel into what kind of creativity do you want to spark in your mind if you want to choose to see abundance. The first example is, say you want to take um, dancing lessons, partner dancing, and you want to do this with your romantic partner that you are in a romantic relationship with right now. But your partner doesn't want to have dance lessons with you. They don't like dancing maybe or whatever it is. So you might perceive a lack of partner dancing in your life. And um, maybe you even perceive a lack of love from your partner. Because you think, why don't they want to give me the joy of partner dancing? But you might conversely see it in the light of abundance as well. You might feel an abundance of freedom to now be able to dance with someone else, find another dance partner that might even, um, who might even be more fun to dance with than your own romantic partner. 
But what if this partner of yours um, doesn't want you to dance with someone else and you're, you have a monogamous agreement? So you're kind of not allowed, right? Then you might perceive an abundance of opportunity for growth and learning how to renegotiate your relationship, if that's what you want to do. Aren't you lucky to get that growth opportunity, right? I can share a little bit of um, a personal example here as well, because whenever I meet people who are not very good at respecting a first no, and there are a lot of men in this world who have somehow learned from this society that if a woman says no, you just have to try again. And whenever I meet those kind of men, I perceive a abundance of learning opportunities to become stronger and stronger in my no and to learn to be very clear in my words and at the same time very friendly as well but very clear am i not lucky <laughs> another example what if your partner your romantic partner lied to you you might perceive a lack of honesty trust connection, love. That's a perception of scarcity. You might as well see it in the light of abundance. Because if you and your partner, if I mean, if integrity is important to you, and it's a deal breaker for you that this person lied, then there's clearly an incompatibility, a major incompatibility between you and this person. And realizing that, is in a way abundance because it's better to realize it early on or whenever you're realizing it it's the right moment to realize it it's important to realize it when there is such a major incompatibility so there's an abundance of realization and then when you take this seriously and you want to end the relationship because of it if that's your choice then suddenly you create this abundance in your life of free space to have more meetings with friends or family or to have more time for your work or your hobbies or to meet another lover who is more compatible with you if you choose otherwise if you want to despite of the lying stay with this current partner then you might find an abundance of sweet forgiveness and maybe even deeper connection afterwards because you have seen more of the other person's humanness. And so you see that abundance or scarcity are both just perspectives. And what you believe in creates your experience. How else can different people feel so differently in very similar situations. So it's up to you to choose a perspective that makes you feel good and that serves you when you go through your life. So if you want to choose a mindset of abundance, you can. I want to share a personal story. When I broke up with my last monogamous boyfriend, I temporarily moved into the house of my parents who were on a month-long vacation and I wasn't sure if I would ever find someone to have a love relationship with who would love me as much as this person did. And there was such a contrast because I lived together with him and we, we would, there was always you know, someone at home for me. And now I was in my parents' house they were gone. I didn't have any friends in that town. So I was all alone and I didn't have any job or scheduled social activities. The only times when I would really interact a bit with people was when I would two times a week travel for a few hours to attend classes at my university. Just two times a week. Did I perceive a lack of love or attention or connection? I don't think so. What I do remember very clearly is 
one afternoon I was cycling home from the train station and it was very warm outside and it started raining and suddenly I felt this feeling dropping into my heart of coming home in myself so deeply and I just remember blissful tears running down my cheeks and another day oh and suddenly the sun went away and another day I had been jogging outside for half an hour and when I came home I made myself a healthy salad and I put myself a glass of red wine and I sat down at the big kitchen table all alone and I just realized that for me being with myself was already more than enough so that's just another example of how you can choose perspective if you are in a situation where you feel scarcity, know that this is because you're thinking within the scarcity mindset. And then ask yourself, how can I perceive this situation differently? Ask yourself, what is abundant in this situation? So that's really all you need to remember. You can choose perspective and the key question that you can ask yourself to practice abundance thinking is what is abundant in this situation? How can I see it differently? What is abundant? I hope you like this video. If you want to practice abundance thinking more with me, I made another video, which is an exercise. It's a mental exercise. I'll ask you to close your eyes and you can practice abundance thinking with me by following my instructions. It's just another video here on YouTube. Um, I'll put the link somewhere clearly visible for you. And um, those two videos are both part of a video lesson I made on abundance thinking in relationships which is again part of a video course I made um, which is called fulfilling relationships become skilled and in that course I'm just teaching all these relationship skills if you're interested um, you can check out some lessons that are on free preview they are on my website so I'll give you the link of that as well and uh, you don't have to do anything to get access to the, the lessons that are on free preview. You don't have to give any details, uh, you can just access them. There's one lesson on free preview which is about self-love, which is such an important prerequisite for um, having beautiful, functioning relationships. And then there's another lesson of free preview, which is the first one, which is about what can you change in your social life? How can you make everything better for yourself? And also what can, what can you not change? And uh, what to do if you feel like you want to change someone else? Hmm. And then there is one other lesson, very juicy one, about uh, how can you kickstart clear communication in your relationships? which many people asked me about, so I just made a lesson on it. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I loved having you here. If you liked the video, give it a like or subscribe if you want some updates on um, other things that I make. And then I will know that you liked it and then I'll make more. <laughs> All right, have a great day.